everyone, this is Anton, and in this video, we have another new Insider Build 0.10.9. We have a few shiny new things in this Insider Build, and we have some improvements to talk about here. So in the shiny new things category, we now have custom domains for Obsidian Publish. So you get custom domains, custom uh, subdomains, or a subfolder of your website. Now, I don't have Obsidian published, but now with this particular feature, I think I'm gonna go ahead and look at getting it. With the custom domain, now I can add my own custom domain to it. And it becomes a bit more useful to have this now for me, where I can send people to you know, my own web URL instead of the publish.obsidian. They also have in here that they have a button now to copy heading links to the Obsidian Publish. And then the other two here are related to global search, where it now displays helpful tips on the various filters that, that they support. And now search has a way to clear the history. So let's take a look at the search options since those are going to be the easiest ones for me here. We go into search. We can see now that they have these new search options displayed here at the top and it shows how you can search for path, file, tags, uh, do a line search and also a section search which they, which they have enabled a couple releases back. At the bottom of this these uh, search options we can see the search history and we now get the option to delete this history by clearing history using this little X button here. Okay, so it looks like the in the improvements area here, we have PDX export settings are now persistent. So if we go to a file here, let's see, go into one here. And let's go ahead and export the PDF. And we can see how we have the settings here. If I go ahead and click landscape on this here, Let's see if I just X out and then go back in if that's saved. So that has not been saved there. Let me hit the X. I'll go ahead and export this file. And now let's go back here and see if it'll still have those settings. Okay, so you have to actually export to PDF using the settings in order for it to save them. Okay, there's a button now to update all plugins. So if we go into the plugins area, and we can also notice here, it used to say third party plugins. They've now changed that to just say community plugins, which I think is a lot cleaner here. And if we come over to the other side, we have current plugins. We have this check for updates. Let's go ahead and click the check for updates. And we can see here where we now have multiple updates on a cup on a few of these plugins. And we can now update them all from here instead of individually going to each one of them and doing the updates that way. So if I go ahead and do update all, it runs through the process here. We can see it's showing the notifications and they're all updated. Mermaid has also been upgraded to version 8.8.4. They've also made it so if you click on the backlink status here at the bottom that it will open up the backlinks pane. See how that opened up. And lastly here, opening up the help vault will now open up a translated version um, depending on the selected language that you have. But it only supports Italian, Japanese, and Chinese at the moment. Okay, so that is it for this particular Insider build. I think I'm really going to go ahead and get the Obsidian published now um, because they have the custom domain. So that'll be something for me to work with as well. So as I'm doing any of these videos and you know instructional demonstrations, I can give more feedback on more of the different offerings from Obsidian. Okay, so if you found the video helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. My voice is a little nasally now. I'm getting over a sinus cold, but, but I really want to get a few videos out as I start to get better here. So until the next time, have a nice day.